red flag warning taking effect as the clock strikes five. It's going to be a tense night for many in the Bay Area. Let's get right to meteorologist Rob Maeda to explain it all. Rob. Yeah, as we look at the components of fire danger, of course, it's uh, temperature, humidity, and wind speeds. And you've got those temperatures in the mid to upper 90s inland across the inland East Bay. And humidity numbers at times less than 25%. So on our fire danger index map, those areas are in red in the North Bay Hills, the Diablo Range. You can see the areas of orange showing up there. So hot and dry, breezy at times. But we have a fourth component tonight, and that is the threat of lightning strikes on top of record dry fuels set up across our Bay Area hillsides enhanced by drought. Right now, we're just seeing high clouds drifting over the Bay Area. The showers lurking here in the Central Valley. You notice the time lapse here of the last two hours and moving from south to north. Starting to see more lightning, but most of it confined to the southern and central Sierra. The area to watch for us tonight is going to move up from the south right now. The good news is we're not seeing a lot of lightning, at least for the moment, associated with it offshore of the Santa Barbara coast. As that lifts to the north overnight tonight, that brings in the chance, especially for the Santa Cruz Mountains, and I think for the Diablo Range heading towards tomorrow morning, that we could have a few of those isolated lightning strikes without the support of rainfall. So that's known as dry lightning. And the reasoning behind the red flag warnings, which now just went into effect for the North Bay Mountains, Diablo Range, East Bay Hills, and the Santa Cruz Mountains is going to carry us all the way through 5 o'clock tomorrow with another round of hot temperatures as well. We'll take a look at when cooler changes arrive and when these fire conditions get a little more calm around the Bay Area coming up on the full forecast in about 12 minutes. All right, Rob, thanks a lot. All over the Bay Area, fire departments are bringing in extra crews. But for one fire department, they'll be operating tonight down a critical fire station. NBC Bay Area's Christy Smith continues our coverage. The Moraga Arinda Fire District, one of many staffing up in preparation for the dangerous conditions. Their signs out front make it clear to people about the fire danger. We've stood up additional resources within the county and the region so that we have more firefighters, more firefighting apparatus that are able to respond in the event of a start. Dave Winokur is fire chief. He says they also keep an eye on alert wildfire cameras, which could be critical in detecting the start of a fire from lightning. Lightning is inherently random. Uh, we're concerned it, it's really a matter of uh, if lightning strikes something that will burn, this year it will burn. In Oakland, the fire department has added roving patrols in the hills. Wildland equipment will go to any vegetation fire just in case. But one station that isn't open is Fire Station 25 due to a problem with the water heater there. It's near Joaquin Miller Park, which does close during red flag warnings. Fire union leaders say the timing is horrible. The firefighters would love to be here, but it's just uninhabitable because there's no way for them to clean themselves after COVID calls, after calls where they're exposed to blood, after calls where they're exposed to the carcinogens that come with fires. In a statement, the Oakland Fire Department responded in part, the unexpected closure of Station 25 is frustrating and concerning. The department is working diligently to immediately fix the issue that needs to be corrected at Station 25 while ensuring we meet our mandated response time. Those crews are working temporarily at station 24. The goal is for a Monday repair. They say for the chief, addressing aging systems is a priority. He's working with city leaders to develop an improvement plan so things like this don't happen again. Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News.